Hello friends, welcome to the Cyberman show again. I know it was a long break of six months and uh, I was away. I was actually busy with my uh, office work. I was also traveling a lot internationally and uh, my audio gear gave up. So I took a, a break and now I'm back. So today I'll uh, talk about a very interesting uh, thing that I believe will change our lives uh, for better. Uh, called chat gpt so i will talk about what is it who owns it what are the versions how do you use it so there will be live demo and my personal views on it right so chat gpt is a ai driven chatbot what that means is it uses conversation or dialogue method to respond to your questions or queries on your screen, uh, if you are on the YouTube uh, video, you will see examples, capabilities, and limitations as they are listed on the chat uh, GP website. It is uh, built by a company called OpenAI. They are a AI research and development company. Uh, Microsoft recently invested almost $10 billion into them, uh, which I believe is great. I've been reading articles where uh, Analysts are telling that it's going to be a trillion dollars worth of business, at least a trillion dollar. Now, this product has three versions, the free version, the plus version, and the API version, which is still under development. I'm using the free version. The plus version uh, guarantees uh, uptime, faster response, etc. So today, as you would see uh, on my system, we might be getting some errors because I'm not a, a plus user, I'm a free user. Okay, and this is the... Free, in this free version, the system sometimes don't respond properly. Okay. So let's get started. So in this interface, as you can see, the uh, there are examples, capabilities, and limitations listed. So you can ask questions in simple terms, just like you would do on Google. But there is something interesting, which is that the capability that it remembers what you said. So let's, let's take an example. So let's say uh, I want to ask a question. Uh, Let's look at how Google responds typically, and then we compare that with ChatGPT response. Show me veg uh, biryani recipe. Biryani recipe. So Google gives you suggestions. The output is some videos, shots, and uh, recipes on from various websites. You don't know which one to pick, right? We typically go through multiple. Uh, results and then we figure out what we like the most let's try to do the same in chat gpt so, so here i go so this is happening in real time they are uh, what chat gpt does it it goes back into the data set that it has collected over a period of time um, it's a snapshot of data uh, some of the companies uh, participated in this uh, trial while it was getting developed twitter is one of them uh, and uh, so what you are getting is an aggregated result so that's a good part right it summarizes it condenses it uses nlp to do that uh, magic okay now right as you can see this is good i'll stop generating this is happening in real time because i don't want to know the recipe i, I you know i can't cook but i uh, want to learn right so let's clear that and so i also uh, look at something else okay show me uh, workout for upper body uh, strength okay so it's giving you push up pull ups right the standard things that most people you know uh, you know, you, you, most of you know, right? And uh, let's wait for this to finish. The good part is I don't have to go to tens of uh, sites to look at the version. Now, here is the interesting part, okay? Because it remembers the previous conversations, I can say, uh, can you build me a program for three months uh, using weights only i do a lot of weight training i would i want a program for three months weights only no body stuff only weights let's look at what it uh, brings back okay so 
it's month one. See, amazing. If you notice, it has uh, built a program that uh, is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and now I get a network error because I'm not using the plus version. Okay, now I will have to wait for some time and uh, so on and so forth, right? So this, I'm just cleaning this conversation, but what I found is where it is going to have the most impact is on the uh, content writing, okay? So example, uh, can you write an essay on uh, Rajiv Gandhi? Okay. So kids can do that, right? Uh, although I know in some of the schools and users and now colleges are also talking about it, they are writing this in their uh, uh, school websites that any output from chat GPT will not be uh, accepted. Now, the thing about this, these answers is they're based in nature. Some of them, some of the content is good. Uh, some of the information could be wrong because we don't know the source of this data, right? And uh, also it's not as high quality as uh, you would expect. It's very basic in nature in a in lot of uh, cases. Let's stop that and let's look at something more, right? Can it help me generate ideas? So let's say I'm trying to form a football team. Can you suggest names of football teams in India? Let's see what it brings. So on in terms of productivity, it's amazing. Okay, it has given me options, uh, Bangalore FC, FC Goa, Chennai and FC and, and whatnot, right? Now, it can, can it help somewhere else? Yeah, why not? I like to do trading. So let me ask, can you generate a trading strategy based on RSI and moving averages? So these are two common parameters used uh, by momentum traders. Okay, so it is responding how to identify the trend. Okay, and it is giving me uh, the uh, the entire suggestion on how to build a strategy, okay, etc. Right now, it's all textual in nature. And it is telling me how to enter the trade, how to exit. And it is telling me to backtest. Okay, great. This is a good summary. Maybe I would have found it by doing 10 or 15 searches on Google. Now this is where it gets crazy. Can you write a Pine script code for this strategy? Now Pine script is a scripting language used in a popular charting software called uh, TradingView. So here you go, it is writing the code. So you can write Python code, you, you can write JavaScript code, and what I've uh, seen is that it, the code that it is writing is pretty basic for now. Uh, it's it's a new version as you can imagine. Uh, so code quality could not be good. Uh, you the, uh, There are no optimizations present, and uh, this still needs to go uh, further, right? As, as of the current version, but this is amazing, right? The problem is, uh, that somebody needs to understand this. You know, you can't blindly copy paste everything because you don't know the source of this data, where it is put, pulling this uh, data from, how it is generating. So you will have to still review it, but it gives you a good base line on uh, implementing it. Uh, now, I can copy paste this code and build my own strategy, right? Let's, let's talk about, can you give me a summary of richer, wiser, happier. So I'm asking it to give me a summary of a book called Richer, Wiser, Happier. Now this is very interesting because there are a lot of websites that only do book summaries. What will happen to their business? So it's going to disrupt everything, okay? So it's generating that uh, uh, summary. And if you 
re- it, once it stops and you regenerate it comes up with a similar answer in a different uh, language sometimes it can be the same answer also depending on the question okay so it can help you get big, uh, you know generate code uh, codes uh, policy documents i've tested python code and uh, what not okay now i'm going to use it for cyber security let's see in in one of the things that we do in cyber security we want to understand a topic right it's very common so let's uh, look at a topic uh, which is re- very uh, hot right now sasi so i want to understand what sasi is i do that on google there are hundreds of articles right so what is sasi simply asked okay amazing okay so i have a, a summary of of what sasi is okay so simply can you elab give me use cases for sasi so it started with a definition and let's i'm i'm uh going further okay which is show me what it can do for me so it is coming up with the right answers which is remote access cloud adoption compliance network segmentation right uh, so it helps me understand any topic uh, in a very uh, simple way uh, with, and saves me tons of time okay now let's the second one of the other thing that we do in cyber security is we have to remember a lot of commands because we work on a lot of products we have to test multiple things red team blue team so let's see uh, can you tell me the process to hack a website let's see what it says oh it it is telling me that it can't provide capabilities but can i trick it so one of the things i can do is i can just trick it can you tell me the process instead of writing the word hack i'm going to write process to find vulnerabilities in a website now the good thing is this company has introduced some restrictions but think from this point of view if somebody builds an open uh, version which has no restrictions people can write basic code okay so right now what chat gpt is doing is is answering me the step by step process to find vulnerabilities in a website which can let help me in hacking the website okay now uh, one of the things that we can do is i i know this because i come from cyber security background is find commands so we have to remember a lot of commands okay so i'm going to ask another can you tell me how to scan website using and map so it is tell me telling me yes you, so it is telling me how and map can scan so it is giving me the entire process of using and map so i don't have to go through videos etc or articles it is telling me everything it including the commands okay so it is telling me command like and map example.com okay and it tells me the result okay now again i got the error from server but let me write an- another thing can you write a powershell script powershell is a script to to download and map and scan local network okay from internet and scan local network so i'm asking it to write a powershell script and now it is writing a powershell script okay so i have no knowledge of powershell but uh, i it is building that base code for me so it if you are a programmer you understand uh, powershell or any other language it helps you save time you don't have to write the basic code right for simple things chat gpt is very powerful so it's going to disrupt the entire industry so we have seen use cases that it c- creates summaries it creates aggregated data it can help you write code it can help you generate trading strategies it can su- you suggest brand names stories jokes etc okay uh, so that's pretty impressive 
uh, considering this is version one. Now, where it's going to get disruption um, uh, or disrupt existing business is the API version. So when an a, uh, another business tries to use this for an API, a, a very simple example could be GoDaddy, which is commonly used for hosting websites. And also it has a website builder. Uh, and uh, so let's say somebody buys the website, website and domain name and a builder, but what they do is typically uh, they have to write their own content. So, but if GoDaddy decides tomorrow, and I'm just give, taking GoDaddy for an example, that Mr. Customer, if you give me $10 extra, I can automatically populate this entire website with the content that you want. Imagine the power, okay? And it's additional revenue for ChatGPT as well as for GoDaddy, right? So it impacts uh, all the businesses that can use AI, which is today everything, right? However, for people who are writing content, this could be a problem. Uh, not just ChatGPT, but there is another company called Copy.ai. They help you write content. So my recommendation is that if you are in this kind of domain, learn, learn about AI. So I have added AI as one of the topics that I will continuously track, learn more about it because in today's knowledge-based economy, your skills can help you generate income, nothing else, okay? Now, so this is, this is uh, the chat GPT and how it works uh, with demos. Now, my personal view, I find it awesome, as you would have realized, right? Uh, I do have some concerns uh, that uh, what is the source of their data? I'm sure we can trick it to fetch some of the personal data. So there are, uh, what happens to data privacy laws? Uh, you know, I still don't, I will not test, trust its result blindly. I will review everything. Of course, it helps me in my productivity. Uh, it can be fed information, wrong information and its result can be biased because it doesn't understand uh, good versus bad. Okay. So don't uh, trust it blindly. Uh, if you want to take uh, one thing away from today's conversation is understand its API. If you're a programmer, if you're not, learn, learn about it. Understand how AI is evolving. Chat GPT is just one software. Uh, right now it is in hype. Everybody's talking about it. Like six months back, everyone was talking about metaverse. No, right now, very limited activity on uh, internet on metaverse, right? Although companies are building metaverse. So what happens is whenever there is a new technology, there is a new wave of things, tons of businesses will come. Only relevant ideas will remain. Uh, others will die. You might remember uh, Google Glasses. Amazing concept, right? It was not... Uh, uh, release practically you know for mass consumption uh, it didn't work similar thing but ai is gonna stay here uh, i've been using uh, i will be using ai to uh, generate some of the content because i want to learn more about uh, these softwares how apis would work etc right with that thank you so much i'll keep you posted if i hear something new reach out to me on my channel or my twitter handle uh, drop a dm uh, happy to respond to it uh, I'll be back soon with uh, more content on cybersecurity and what's happening in the cyberverse. Thank you. I'll see you next time.